Okay, Christmas. What's Christmas like for you? Christmas is a special holiday. I feel like it's for everybody. You know, Christmas is Jesus' day, um, a day love happens. You know, when your family come together, you know, and of course people buy gifts, you know. So, yeah, love, happiness, and peace, man. That's, that's what Chris, Christmas is about with me. Anything crazy ever happened to you on a past Christmas? Could be Christmas Eve, could be Christmas Day, day after Christmas, anything out of the norm. Nah, nothing too major happened to me on Christmas. It's always been good. Fav favorite Christmas memory, if you have one, thinking back on your past Christmases. When I found out Santa Claus wasn't real. What age was that, and how did you find out? <laughs> I was probably about 11, and I saw my mom coming in the house with a scooter. <laughs> and I said, wait a minute. Now, you ain't finna tell me <laughs> Santa Claus just gave you that scooter. You know, so, yeah, that's when I... Found out. I think I was about 12. So you kept it to yourself or you confronted your mother about this? Yeah, or? my mama came up and said, you like, you know what, I'm tired of hiding this from you. Um, I work too hard for this, for you to be talking about some damn Santa Claus. I got you everything that you see in your closet, everything that you ride on, play on, I got you that. Mm -hmm. Ain't no Santa Claus. <laughs> now, were you already thinking there was no Santa Claus or was this like just a shock and surprise? That was it. That was the shock. You know, when I saw that, I was just like, dang, Santa Claus gave you that? Because kids in school, they can be very smart very young. They can. And some catch on to this no Santa Real Claus quick, stuff, yeah, yeah quicker I, than I may have been younger than that, but I remember it was a, when she brought that scooter in the house. It was a green scooter I had got. That's when the electric scooters just had came out. So she wasn't, she, so she, was she trying to do it like, did she not think you were home type of thing? Or she was trying to bring it out when she thought you weren't looking or upstairs or something like that? She didn't think so. Because when she saw me, she was like, <gasps> and I was like, yeah, got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you confronted her right there and then about it. Yeah. I, I don't, what did I say? I don't think I said too much. I was just like, dang. And then she just kept it straight up with me. And she was uh, just like, I yeah, see. yeah. So, I mean, after that, I was just. And like right now, like I have a little sister and she don't even think Santa Claus real. Like she asked me the other day, can you buy me Xbox One for Christmas? She ain't think about no Santa Claus. She's it, seven years old. Oh, seven. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, I, and I've asked some other people in interviews before, like when they figured that out. And some people, even though kids had told them, you know, yeah. that the smartened up about it, uh, some people didn't want to believe that. Yeah. You know, so yeah. some, they already have the inclination, they do. but they, they do. don't want to. Yeah, I think the new generation, a lot of them kind of know. You know, I was brought up, I'm a 90s baby, baby, so I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably found out at, around that age. You know, it's so new now, you know, you, social media changed everything. So you see a lot of stuff on social media, mm. you know what I'm saying? I, so, yeah. When it comes to Christmas, obviously Christmas music, Christmas movies, these are big things. Mm -hmm during the holiday season. Favorite Christmas song of all time? Santa Claus is coming to town. Ooh, ooh. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to Yeah. <laughs> that probably made somebody's day watching this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, it a, is that just the song you like, or is there a per particular person that sings that? Mike, man, yeah, you know, I, I mean, that's, I grew up off that, so, you know, that's, that's always been a Christmas song. Favorite Christmas movie of all time? Ah, I'm gonna have to go with Friday after next. Mm. You know? Friday after next. Yeah, that's that's a classic for me when it comes to the Christmas. They got great Christmas spirit in that, so yeah, I like that. Have you I know you do a lot of comedy stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you ever made a com uh, like a Christmas song yet? Or I, I have, yeah. You I have. made one last year. And I'm gonna probably make one before Christmas. Yeah. I'll probably make one tomorrow. What what was that one called? The one that you did last it's year? It's almost Christmas time. Yeah. And, and what was the feedback on that? Yeah, it did great numbers. They enjoyed it. They enjoyed it. Was that something that's like on Spotify and Tidal and all that? Or that's something that was released like on YouTube or SoundCloud? YouTube, or? Instagram. Yeah, ah. it wasn't. I, I just put it out. It wasn't, yeah, nothing too major. I see. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you mentioned gifts earlier. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Christmas gifts, best Christmas gift you've ever received so far? Best Christmas gift I ever received. I don't know if it was that scooter or maybe it was something else. <sighs> What's the best Christmas gift I ever received? Um, I don't know. 
I mean, because, you know, all I really wanted for Christmas was, like, clothes and shoes, you know. Of course, games, but I really didn't ever just get anything that was so crazy, you know what I'm saying? So clothes and shoes was, like, my thing. Well, maybe there was something that you really, really wanted. That I didn't get? Oh, well, that you, that you actually got. Maybe you didn't think you were going to get, or maybe your parents surprised you with some. Maybe they faked. Fake like that, it wasn't gonna, you weren't gonna have it, and then you. Well, it might been the scooter. Mm. It might been, yeah, it might been the scooter when I saw that scooter. Yeah. Now, worst Christmas present you ever received. On the flip side. Um, some felines. Back in the day. They were just. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't felines. It was shacks. Oh shit. My grandparent, my grandmother got me some shacks. Some the all Walmart, black shacks. The Walmart shacks. The Walmart shacks. Some all black shacks. Not the Reebok nah, shacks. Nah, and I was in middle <laughs> school. I was in middle school. But see, I thought, you know, I was like, okay, there's some black shoes. So I wasn't tripping about it, you know. So I warmed the school, and everybody was like, oh no, he got the shacks on. He got the shacks on. I'm like, yeah, why did I wear these shacks? <laughs> I never warm again. Ouch. I never warm again. <laughs> That's supposed to be a cool thing, like having a, a basketball player like Sha- Shaquille O'Neal at that time, because he was still a pretty good basketball yeah, he, player. He you was. would think that that's supposed to be a cool thing, like, okay, big-time NBA player, he has a shoe, and it's available at Walmart. Yeah. But and get, Payless, too. Oh, Payless. She got hers from Payless. Oh, okay. So, you know, I, I seen the box and everything, and I was just like, Grandma. You know, Grandma, it's a shoes. Put them shoes on your feet. We don't care about none of that. You know what I'm saying? They don't care about none of that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what about re-gifting? What is your policy on re-gifting? Like giving? No, like somebody gives you a gift, uh-huh. you accept it, mm-hmm. and then you pass it off as another gift to somebody else. That's re-gifting. Have you done that before? Uh, nah. Never I done it. Nah, I've never done it before. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of that policy? Some people do do that. They do. It, it depends. Uh, I just feel like it's tough, you know, because you never know what a person went through to get that gift for you. Mm. And for you to give it to somebody else, I just feel like that's selfish. Mm. You know, so I wouldn't do anything like that. When it comes to Christmas, some people have to work mm-hmm. either Christmas Eve or My Christmas mom, Day. Yeah. Um, have you personally ever had to work on, on that holiday? Never. Never. My mom does that. She got to work on Christmas. Lucky guy. Yeah. Now, um, let's say somebody's watching. You're a funny guy, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But let's say somebody's watching this interview Mm -hmm. and they're having a not so funny Christmas. Okay. It's a sad time. Not the best Christmas ever. Might be a tough one. Mm-hmm. What's the advice there? Some general advice you have. Somebody watching this, not having the best Christmas in the world. I mean, I would just tell a person, man, um, I mean, it is Christmas, but Christmas is, is, is just a day. I wouldn't get lost, so lost in, you know, seeing everybody get stuff. Because I, I have went, you know, with some Christmas not getting anything. Not you know, so, getting anything? Yeah, not getting anything. Wow. You know, hard times. You know, my mama says she can't do it. I mean, you just got to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? You just use that. You know, some people use it as, okay, now I got to go harder. It, it make people a better person. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it as, you know, I, I had to get used to it. You know what I'm saying? I, you don't want to grow up being spoiled, you know, because that make you less of a man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's good to go through different things. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And just just keep pushing, man, and, and get on them knees and pray, man, and, and ask God, you know, to make things work for you, you know? So I just feel like it ain't the end of the world. You know, it's just a day, but I mean, Christmas is a good day to receive, but hey, it's not the end, man. So just keep pushing, man. It's way better days ahead. You might not get nothing on Christmas, but who say you can get nothing uh, during the week or the next week or, you know, a month from now, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's okay, it's okay.